are collecting personal information on people who do not even have Facebook accounts. Isn't that right? Congresswoman, I believe that Yes or no? Are you willing to change your business model in the interest of protecting individual privacy? Congresswoman, we are, have made and are continuing to make changes to reduce the amount of no, data. Are you willing to change your business model in the interest of protecting individual privacy? Congresswoman, I'm not sure what that means. Will you make the commitment to changing all the user default settings to minimize to the greatest extent possible the collection and use of users' data? Congressman, this is a complex issue that I think is deserves more than a one-word answer. Well, I, again, that's disappointing to me because I think you should make that commitment. What is the difference between Facebook's methodology and the methodology of the American political pariah J. Edgar Hoover. On Facebook, you have control over your information. The content that you share, you put there. You can take it down at any time. The information that we collect, you can choose to have us not collect. You could delete any of it. And of course, you can leave Facebook if you want. I know of no surveillance organization that gives people the option to uh, delete the data that they have or even know what, what they're collecting. Should Facebook enable illegal online pharmacies to sell drugs such as oxycodone, Percocet, uh, Vicodin without a prescription? I believe <laughs> that's against yes, our policy. Yes or no? Do you think you should be able to do no, that? No, of course not. There, there are 35,000 online pharmacies operating and according to the FDA, they think there may be 96% of them are operating illegally. Now America's in the midst of one of the worst epidemics that it's ever experienced. But your platform is still being used to circumvent the law and allow people to buy highly addictive drugs without a prescription. With all due respect, Facebook is actually enabling an illegal activity and in so doing, you are hurting people. When there are tens of billions or a hundred billion pieces of content that are shared every day, even 20,000 people reviewing it can't look at everything. What we need to do is build more AI tools that can proactively find that content. you've been said before you're going to take them down, and you haven't. You are collecting data on just about everybody. You're following Facebook users even after they log off of that platform and application. And you are collecting personal information on people who do not even have Facebook accounts. Isn't that right? Congresswoman, I believe that yes or no? Uh, Congresswoman, I, I'm not sure. That, I don't think that that's what we're tracking. You have already acknowledged that you are doing that for security purposes and commercial purposes. When someone goes to a website and it has the Facebook uh, like or share, that data is being collected by Facebook, correct? Uh, Congresswoman, yes or no? that's right, that we, that we understand it, in order to show which of your friends yeah, so for people who like don't even page. have facebook i don't think that the average american really understands that